Hey everyone, we are back for another year. I'm Jeff, and I play old and retro games on here, and it's all to raise money for the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children as part of Extra Life. I uh, originally set up this channel, I guess it'd be seven years ago now, uh, when I did Extra Life for the first time. Uh, and it was just to do my annual 24-hour fundraising marathon. I streamed the whole 24 hours, and then I was done. Uh, but the last few years, I've been trying to do some regular streaming throughout the year, try and get some hype built up for the big marathon in November, which is uh, the third and fourth this year. Uh, and I just have a lot of fun sharing uh, old games from my childhood, uh, sometimes games I've never played but always wanted to, or just new stuff I'm discovering. Uh, it's great. I'm glad to be back. Uh, I've basically taken a break since my big marathon in November of 2022. I think I streamed once or twice in between, but mostly took the time off, but uh, I'm back now. So, uh, as I said, this is all part of Extra Life, and how Extra Life works is it connects gamers from all over the world with their local children's Miracle Network hospitals. Mine's the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children uh, and the Sick Kids Foundation who run that. Uh, and every, money, every bit of money you donate to me goes directly to them. Uh, you can check the donation link down below. Uh, you can see we're starting fresh again. I've got a goal for the year. We'll see if we can reach it. Uh, but every penny goes to sick kids, uh, unless you choose to donate a little extra for Extra Life's overhead. Uh, it's a really good cause. It's tax deductible. All that good junk. So uh, starting out tonight, we are going to be playing a game called Tenebra. It's not actually in uh, Twitch's list of games we can pick from to tag the stream. So hopefully people can find us. We're going to be playing it on a Commodore 64. I actually built this puppy myself. I'm going to show it off because I'm very proud of it. This here is a Commodore 64. I built it using a Commodore 64 reloaded Mark II motherboard. Uh, which is a new motherboard that you can put old chips from the original systems in and get an authentic, 100% accurate experience to the original Commodore 64 uh, without worrying about all the capacitors that might be leaking and any other issues you might have. Uh, it runs a lot cooler, uh, but as I said, you put original chips into it. You put an original video chip into it. You put in an original sound chip, you put in an original processor, and you put two CIA chips, which are boring things that handle the input and output of the system. Uh, but, uh, like I said, uh, it's, it's a new case. I put it together myself. It's an original keyboard. Those chips are original. Everything else is new. Uh, to save us the load time, I'm going to be using my Kung Fu Flash, which uses the cartridge port on the Commodore. We won't have to worry about the tape or the disk drive uh, erroring out or taking 15 minutes to load. Uh, it'll just be nice and fast. So let me get this hooked up for you. Uh, I disconnected it all so I could show it off. But we'll get it hooked up and we will play a little Tenebra. And Tenebra is a puzzle game. Like I said, uh, it came out in 2021. Uh, a developer named Haplo made it. I believe they're based in Australia somewhere. I could be wrong. I'd have to look at their page. Uh, but it's a new game for an old system. Hey, Rathologic, good to see ya. Uh, just been saying that uh, I'm going to be playing a game from 2021 on a computer from 1982. Uh, I'm piping the input through my capture card, uh, and it should be a good time. And my cat is screaming at me. I don't know if you can hear that, but he's very agitated that I'm talking uh, not to him. So we are going to get going. Again, this is Tenebra. Let's see if this will pick it up. Uh, let me know if there are audio issues. I've never streamed from this system before. Oh, no. <laughs> okay, here we go. And yeah, that the flashing is supposed to be there. 
Okay, so this is Tenebra. Uh, it doesn't have a save game system, but it does have a code system. So every level we pass, we're going to get a little code. And if we have to leave and start again, we can punch it in here. Uh, okay. Here we go. So the idea is our little dude wants to get out of this, I don't know, uh, castle he's trapped in. Uh, but it's really dark and he's afraid of the dark. So we need to get to the gate, but we can only walk in the locked areas. Uh, can you guys hear this? You probably can't. Hang on. I'm not getting the game audio. I am going to check my settings here. Ah, uh, here we go. That's better. You can hear that now, right? There's no music, but there are... There we go. Okay. So as I said, our little guy can't walk in the dark, but we want to get to the gate. So it's going to get progressively more complicated as we go. Uh, so now we know that we can pick up torches that we find. We gotta find our way to the gate. Nope, walking in circles. Ta-da! Okay. So there are cracks in the wall we can squeeze through, but we can't do it while we are holding a torch. Okay. Straightforward enough. So yeah, we got to put down the torch. Grab the other one. Hey, Obsidian Fury. You're just playing a little Tenebra on a Commodore 64. So this is not emulated. This is on uh, original hardware. Okay, so we are learning in this one that some things are brighter than others. I grab this torch over here, which has a lower light radius. Okay, so we got a crack there. We got to get torch with a bigger light radius because we can't get through the dark there. Let's grab this one here. Is that... That is not quite enough to get us over. So I think we're going to have to piggyback. Is it too loud? Let me know if it's too loud. It's his little footsteps. Okay, so there are keys. Yeah, so that's a door that needs a key. We gotta go find a key. <laughs> it does kind of sound like a fish slapping around. Okay, so we got the key. There's the gate. So these levels are just... Okay, so here's one that's just straight up get to the gate. They're teaching us a few of the game's features. Okay. There's a key. I'm, oh, they teased me. They made me think I could get to that key. There's got to be another one. Okay, I see what we got to do. We can't carry the torch through the crack. But we can bring it through the door now that we have the key. 
So a closed gate can be opened by lighting up its sensor. All right, so I see the di oh, okay. Open, close, open, close. All right, so we gotta find one torch that we can drop and keep that lit and the other that we can carry with us to the gate. Get to the gate. have a look here so the gate is closed so there's got to be a sensor somewhere there's also a locked door oh there's the sensor can't leave it there and get through the crack because I won't be able to get anywhere else. I grab the key. Okay, so the door there is unlocked. We just have to piggyback these guys over. Not. How am I going to? Oh, I see. Uh, okay. Got to. This guy, leave this here, slip out, grab the torch, and now we can leave. How? To increase the radius of a torch, take it to an oil puddle. Okay, well, if I spot an oil puddle, I will do that. One there. Oh yeah, that works. Johnson's cave. Okay, a little hidden message. So what am I supposed to leave lit up here? Johnson's cave. Get to the gate. Okay, so we got a sensor and a torch. A very small light radius. See more torches. It's got to be. oil puddle somewhere. Oh, there's a key, too. Grab that. Oh, there's two keys. Okay. Oh, I see. Yeah. So our radius is bigger now, so we can get another key. Which lets us open that. Hey, 
Melissa. Thank you for the donation. Getting a head start on it this year. It's good to see ya. Not sure what the smiley face does. We are playing a little Tenebra, which is a new-ish game for the Commodore 64, which came out in 1982. We're playing it on an actual Commodore 64. Happy New Year's, everyone. Yeah, I mostly took a break after uh, after I did my big marathon. But yeah, uh, same thing happens to me. If I if I put it off, I I know I'll I'll feel bad about myself September or October and uh, be scrambling to do some fundraising. So we're just gonna get we're gonna get a good start on it. Is the plan. So I got the two keys. All right. How am I going to get that? Just need to bring it across enough. I can get through there. Is there a crack that I'm missing? We also have to remember to bring one of these over for the sensor. Let's just piggyback it now. Because we know we have to bring one of them. Because uh, we can't fit through any of those cracks with a torch in our hand. It does, and you get more comfortable with it. Uh, I find if I haven't been doing it for a little while, even now, like after a few months, uh, I stammer a lot more. I say, uh, uh. So just practice is good, and it's nice to get to know people who come out to your streams. Yeah, do it, Jen. I have to try this over again to have like the same radius so I'm not sure oh I bet you I gotta move that other one first so we piggybacked this over here too early Yeah, it's bad. What's really funny is uh, when I uh, when I speak at conferences, which I used to do quite regularly, I had no issue with that whatsoever. It's just when I'm streaming and trying to game at the same time. <laughs> okay, okay. Just need that much. Drop it here. Yes, we can drop it there. start this one over again. I think Spacebar does it. Yeah. Okay. So we've got a little tiny torch. Got key we can grab to get through this door. That's the oil puddle. This is the only torch we can... I don't know what happens when we leave it on the little smiley face. So I just... All right, I made the smiley face disappear. I hope that wasn't bad. So we need to use the oil puddle to make our torch brighter. Because that's the only way we can get that key. Or 
there anything I'm missing up this way? No. Hang around here. sure here is definitely I need to do that to get to the next torch but how do I get it through the crack Thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. So, grab that. Just need to be able to get a little farther. Feel like I'm missing something. Please feel free to uh, ch chime in in the chat when you've got uh, suggestions. Anytime. You're just playing some Tenebra, which is a game someone made in 2021 for the Commodore 64, which we are playing on, uh, which was built in 1982. So my Commodore 64 was not built in 1982. I built that uh, earlier this month. Uh, <laughs> actually, no, I did it in December. I finished it in December. Uh but it has original chips in it on a new motherboard. Uh, the keyboard's original. Uh, the joystick is original. This is a Wiko Boss. These are highly sought after joysticks. They use arcade quality parts. They're they're good. They're good joystick. Okay. Almost. That gets me just about there, but not quite. <laughs> well, actually, it was made in 2021 for a computer made in the 80s. <laughs> That's why it's so impressive, right? <laughs> Things have come a long way in the last few years, right? I have to be missing something here. There's nothing else there. No other cracks. Just can't quite get all the way. I need like one more block radius. Oh, there we go. I don't know what I was missing before. So we need to get to the gate. So the gate you can see down there in the lower right, uh, it's closed. Uh, but the problem is our little guy so it's, it's locked now. The problem is our little guy is afraid of the dark. So we can't walk anywhere that's not lighted. So we have to carry these torches around. And the gate is locked right now. So we have to put light on. Yeah, there's a little sensor. So now that this is lit up, the gate is open. 
Yeah, I'm not sure how he managed to find himself in here or if the power went out, uh, what the deal is. But he has to make do with all these torches. <laughs> but I think he's, he's doing okay. He's going to make it. He's going to make it through this one. Okay. So this one says, unstable doorways collapse after you pass under them. Okay. Fun. So uh, if the gate is locked, there will be a little sensor that we have to light up, and that will open the gate. Uh, if the sensor is dark, the gate will be locked. Okay, so now I can't go back that way. Okay, okay. It's a key. So we got one key. There's another torch. Which I'm sure is completely unnecessary. Oh, what does this say? Finsterness. They're being... Uh, Little tips of the hat to other people while we've been playing. I guess they're friends of the developer or people who helped on it. I'm not quite sure. So we'll piggyback this torch cross. Someday, some someday you and Finsterness will be uh, laughing about something, and I'll I'll just have to smile. All right, well I can fit through there. But to what end? I cart that torch all the way up there for nothing? Yeah, okay. Oh, I see. Okay. Boo. Yeah, I brought it all the way up there for nothing. We've got to piggyback it. All the way back. lights up the doorway this one will let me get through to the gate oh no <laughs> not quite okay okay uh, we need to move it one lower should do it. We're out. So this one just says get to the gate. All right. So this is a locked gate. We're starting right beside it, which means we need to find a sensor somewhere. So a locked door there, which means there's a key. This doorway is going to collapse once we walk through it. So we can't get back that way. Grab our little torch and start looking around. That one collapsed on this too. Okay, okay, there's an oil puddle. 
So our torch is a little brighter now. It's gonna collapse on us. There's our key. Oh, we gotta find that light sensor. Oh, easy. Cold braziers can be lit up using torches. Okay. Let's warm up some braziers. No one likes a cold brazier. There's another one. Okay, that's a crack, so we can't get through it with our torch. There's that. Oh yeah. Lighten all the fires, okay. That's our sensor. I think we've lit the way all the way to the exit, which we can slip through those cracks to get to. Ah, oh, we did it. Lights can be pushed on rails. It just gets more and more complicated. I, I think there are like 34 levels. I have to double check, but we're on 14. Hey, thank you for the donation, Jennifer. I really appreciate it. All right, we got to find ourselves. Oh, right, I can push these. Push it on a rail, there's a key. Okay, so that's the sensor. And we can open the door with the key. Oh, it's a little dark. This one over. There we go. We did it. Get to the gate. Okay, push this along the rail. Ooh, we got to change of direction. Okay. I have to push that back, I think, at some point. Okay, so there's a crack. Grab this torch. Yeah, okay. So I was right to not pass through this. Uh, this doorway will collapse once I go through it. If I had gone in this way instead of out, I would be in real trouble. There's that sensor. Okay. I think what I got to do... Push this... So that gate opens because the sensor is lit up. Oh no, that's not going to work. I got to leave the torch there and push the right thing. That's still too dark. Hmm. Let's take another look around when we grab that torch again. Gotta be something else going on. Something that we're missing. puddle. I missed the oil puddle. Let's 
So this does need to be left there. And I carry the torch over here. Put it down. Slip through the crack. Get out. Broken rails can be fixed with a hammer. Yeah, how many more complications are we going to have? Okay. Grab the torch. There's an oil puddle. Okay, I see a hammer now. There's the key. Okay. Anything else going on out here? Not that I can see. broken? Can't tell. I can't tell if they are broken. Maybe they're supposed to go farther. Anyway, I got a hammer now. Okay, I guess that was the broken section. Oh, here's another one. Yeah, okay. Now this is broken, or the broken stuff is, oh, wow, a spammer. Well, that is very kind of you. Let me just take care of this guy. One moment, everyone. Goodbye. Okay. That person won't be a problem anymore. <laughs> it's okay. Thank you for doing that. That's great. Uh, okay, okay, I gotta push this thing. Oh, not quite, huh? Alright, I guess we leave that there. And push this back, okay. Get to the gate. Okay, so we're right by a locked gate. The torch, this is a collapsing wall. And there's a locked door below us. It's a hammer. Another torch. Okay. Where we gotta bring these guys? Like that. Okay, we got a hammer. Back to that, like that. Start pushing this thing. Where's the track broken? Okay, there's a light sensor. Broken there. Broken there. get it any farther it looks like oh yeah we got some more broken track oh we can just light these up perfect so we don't need to worry about the sensor anymore fix the 
track. Keep pushing, keep pushing. Oh, we got this guy. Okay. We need the torch. Got the key now. I think maybe we just carry the torch up. Maybe, maybe. door which we have the key for and the way out get to the gate grab a torch okay we got an oil puddle definitely want that hammer little smiley guy so it looks like the only way out of here is through that crack in the wall Start pushing this. Fix the track. Uh, yeah, let's push a little farther. Yep. Yeah. No point. Get through the crack. Grab the torch. Got here. We need a key there. There's the gate. Okay. Do I want to use that oil slick? Or do I want to save it? I think I'm going to save it for now. Not sure if I want to use it yet. Oh, there's another one there. Okay, okay. I guess I'm just going to use that one. I have no keys, though. I haven't even seen any keys. Oh, there's a key. It's a key. Okay. Oh, we can't get through there. Right. Slick. I want to use it on the same torch. I forget where the sensor is. Oh, it's in the upper right, isn't it? The sensor's in the upper right. I'm going to use it on a different torch. I think what I need to do is this myself a path to get back. track I can get through so that's lit up so the gate is open oh no uh okay it's like one square away from where it needed to be. Oh no. Well, shoot. Okay, okay, okay. We gotta go through again. They're both one square away from where they needed to be.
Try that, try that. Yep. Now we can get to the gate. Huzzah. Get to the gate. All right, grab the torch. Got some rails. Light that up. Gonna need a hammer to fix these. Slick there. Oil slick there, huh? Okay. <laughs> Is it a dungeon? I'm not quite sure where we are. I mean, I guess we're imprisoned. It's unclear. Uh... I haven't seen any computers. There are rail lines. Which I'm going to need to fix in a second. Okay, this guy's broken. No canaries yet. But they do introduce new complications every few levels, so... The canary, if we meet them. be an appropriate name for him. I guess you don't name your kid because you think they're going to be afraid of the dark. Okay, we got to go light this up. for me. Walt, for short. Okay, I need that torch a little closer. Okay, that's lit up. We're free! Get to the gate! choice now. Keep going straight. Okay, so we come up here when we have a key. Torch. Okay. So there's a sensor there. Okay, we got another one of those. All right. Light up. No, we 
need to do the other one. Looks like the other one has a better light radius. Him out of the way. Oh, I can't move this one. That one's immovable. Okay. Probably because the track is busted. So, we got the hammer. Where's the track broken? Right there. Okay. Bring him up. That sets off the sensor, so the gate opens. Need to push the other guy up here. White. What else do we need? Oh, I gotta push him here. Okay. It goes all the way down. give me enough light. Yep. I'm free. Level 21. Get to the gate. Okay. Let's push this thing. Track's broken that way. Well, now we've got a hammer. Keep pushing. Got a torch now. Let's have a look around. Okay, we need a key. Uh oh. Did we block ourselves? I think we might have. We gotta restart this one. Okay. So this time. Get the hammer. Repair the track. Grab the key. Grab the torch. Where's the door? There we go. Go through the door. Push that out of the way. Get to the gate. 22. Okay. Got a key we can't reach. Can we use this to light that? Nope. You have to get that torch. But we need a key to get to the torch. Okay. Sensor there. That track's broken that direction. So there's our key. Okay, get that 
torch. Light this up. There's our hammer. There's another key there. Let's fix these tracks. Move this over. Grab our other key. So we need, where's the sensor? Okay. To push this down here so the gate is open and we can squeeze through here and get out the gate. Get to the gate. Okay. We got a sensor, we got a cart with a brassiere on it. mistake. Yeah, we're stuck now. Okay, try that again. Let's just keep these out of each other's way. You don't have a disaster. So we need a key. Where, pray tell, is the key? The key is there, which we can reach now. Ah, but we got to get that one out of the way because it has a lower light radius. So I think got to do is the brighter one needs to be at the end so I can get to the gate. We got to move this one so that it touches the sensor. We move this over here, and we're out. Get to the gate. Okay. That looks... Collapsing walls, okay. want to push that somewhere I can't get it out of. We're just going to keep looking for a sec. Uh, I'm going to have to push it somewhere I can't get it out of. Okay. All right, let's restart this one. Got to go this way. Grab this torch. Hammer somewhere. There's an oil puddle. There's the hammer. Collapses. Make sure I grab my torch. Okay, now there's another. Yeah. Fix 
the track. Okay. Where'd that sensor go? Did we find the sensor? I don't know if we did. There it is. Okay. So, I think the brighter one has got to go up there. So this guy's got to get out of the way. This guy goes this way. Okay, that's opened. Push this up. Okay, now I can get to the gate. Get to the gate. All right, grab the torch, obviously. We got a sensor. What else we got? We got a crack in the wall. More cracks. Another crack. Need a key somewhere. Missing a key. What am I missing here? Oh, right. What I'm missing is that those are on tracks. Okay. the key. And if I can get the key, how do I get the key? This way up this direction. Ah, there we go. Now we have the key. This torch, get to the gate. Uh oh. Aha. Oh, I see. I see, I see. All right. I see what you're doing to me, I think. I think. Bam. The maze. Oh, fun. <laughs> okay. All right. Is it literally just going to be a maze? No puzzle solving? Yep, 
I think that is what it is. Oh, there's a key. Okay. So there's more to this maze than we've seen. Of course. Slide through here. Dead end. Okay. That's fine. That's fine. Got to go the long way around. Of course, we got to go the long way around. Where's that locked door going to be? Right near the end. There it is. We're out. Pac-Man! Oh yeah. It is Pac-Man. Uh, the gate is in the little place the ghosts live. Okay, we got gates, locked gates. Okay, we've got a sensor. We're in the upper left. I mean, it's not quite like Pac-Man. In Pac-Man, there would be little passages on the right and left hand side that would loop you around. But uh, I guess I can forgive them. Light that up. Let me get the key. That. Because I want to light that up. Now I can get... Out. The ramparts. Oh, I see. These are stairs. This is supposed to be stairs. Okay. Got tracks. Sensors there. pool. Always helpful. Okay. Gotta be a key. So oh, there's that. Which will let me fix the tracks. I see, I forgot to light this. Fix the tracks here. Anywhere else? Nope. Okay. Now I should be able to grab that key. was here. Oops, what's going on here? Here we go. That's the locked door. Have to find that sensor again and push that brazier on the track down to it, I think. Yep. We are just about free of this one.
get to the gate 29 no no fancy theme this time or at least not one they're announcing okay right by the gate this is gonna collapse on us Broken track. More broken track. Okay. I don't see the hammer yet. There it is. Let me get through this passage here. First, I gotta bring this over a little more. going to collapse on me when I get through there, from the look of it. And that's no good. That's not going to work. Hmm. It's no point grabbing that key if I'm going to be trapped in there in the dark. It's the opposite of what this little guy Walt wants. <laughs> this torch. Maybe. Ugh. It's going to collapse on me? Is there any indication I can get out of there? Okay. Hopefully, <laughs> and they're not giving me the complete picture here. Yeah, okay, I can get out. Phew. just want to think this through. I go through here. If I go through here, it's going to collapse, but I can get out once I grab that key. Oh no, there's... <laughs> there's one space of dark there. All right, we got to restart this one. Okay. There's the 
Anvil. Fix the tracks. Fix the tracks. So, this time, I'm going to drop the torch there. Okay, grab that. Okay, have that back now. Key lets me through here. Okay. So I just need to push one of these up. Open the gate. And that'll do it. Thirty. Think before you act. Okay. They are warning me. Closed gate. Like that. That can't be harmful, right? Like that. I'm missing. Get in there. a key somewhere? Not yet. Hmm. Another key there. I see, I see, I see. Uh, think before you act, it says. So I can slip through there. <laughs> okay, okay. that through here use this key to open this 
use this on the oil puddle. Should let me in here. And I probably screwed that up. Yeah. Because <laughs> I need the hammer. Try that again. Light all of these. I don't even know where the hammer is yet. Think before you act is right. Missing one, there's got to be another. Not. I feel like there was another. Maybe I'm wrong. Okay. So this time, we're going to leave this here. I go up through here. Collapses. Grab that key to open that door. We can brighten up that torch. Which will let us push that cart, but we don't want to push it yet because we need to repair those tracks. And if we push the cart, we can't reach the tracks we need to repair. Here, ah, we got our hammer. Now we can repair the tracks. Better make sure there are no others that need to be repaired up there. That looks okay. Got another key. Where is the sensor? Did we find that yet? There's got to be a sensor somewhere because the gate is locked. I don't want to use the key on that gate yet. Looks like my only option right now. So there's the sensor. And that should get me all the way. All right. Not too bad. Not too bad. 31. Get to the gate. Be very precise in this one. very precisely. Light him up. Very tricky. The other braziers that need to be lit. through there to push that. Unless I have missed something, but I don't think I have. Okay, okay. Okay, that collapsed. Always a good sign.
Where are those braziers? Need to get some more light going. Okay. There's a key up here. Be precise is right. Okay. First, it's very hard to tell what you need to do first, because I can't see everything, but I need that key. it up here then I can get around and push it back when I need to okay that is my plan oh but I gotta get this where I can get it. Which means here. Nope. Means here is where I need to leave it. I think. E yeah, no, I can't get through there if I do that. Hmm. Yeah, I mean, I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, okay, I'm agonizing over this one. I'm just going to go for it. to start over. So I need this key. Uh, okay. So I gotta push this guy up here. But not so far that I can't. Okay. Push it back. Okay. Okay. Screw it up. I think I did. Yeah. I screwed it up. Okay. So. We gotta light all these braziers. Okay. 
that's got to be left there. last time. I didn't miss any. My torch. I bring this up here. first. Maybe down first. Probably not down. Oh, it's got to go up. It's got to go up first. I need that key. Okay, let's not bring it too far up. Take a look at that door down there. There's got to be something in the corner there. I mean, I guess I can just go through the door. Okay, that's the... Still move it back. If I no. Okay. Let's, let's see, let's see. Okay. I could 
should be done. No, I'm free. <laughs> oh, hey, the end. We did it. We beat Tenebra. Cute. So that was it. That was Tenebra. Uh, we're a little short of my two-hour time slot, but that was a lot of fun. Uh, thank you, everyone, for coming out to my first stream of the year. Uh, we've been playing Tenebra on the Commodore 64. Uh, this is by a developer named Haplo out of Australia. They make new Commodore 64 games uh, in this day and age. Uh, yeah, thanks for coming, Anthropologic. Uh, as I said, I'm playing this on uh, an actual Commodore 64. Uh, it's uh, a 40-year-old computer. Uh, I built it myself. There's a new motherboard in it, but the chips are all original. The keyboard's original. Uh, the joystick's original. Uh, it's it's really great. I grew up with one of these. Uh, this is the first computer I ever played on as a kid. Uh, my uncle had one. It was next door at uh, my grandparents' house. And I used to go over there all the time and play on the Commodore 64. Uh, and so now I have my own that I built. I actually have quite a few of these things. Uh, but they're all broken in various ways. Uh, but this one, I got a new motherboard for, I grabbed some working chips, I slotted them in the motherboard, I got a working keyboard, I got a, the case is a new, it's a new case, uh, someone's making new, uh, molded cases based on the original molds, uh, so it looks, it looks very shiny and new. Uh, but it's a lot of fun. I'll definitely be streaming a lot more Commodore 64 stuff. Maybe even some stuff where the game is also 40 years old. Uh, but it's a great system. Uh, super famous for its sound chip. We've got an original sound chip in this thing. Uh, and it'll be a lot of fun. I said this at the beginning of the stream, but I'll say it again now. You probably see all my branding all over my Twitch page and on my stream itself. But I do this every year for Extra Life. I'm going to stream year-round. And Extra Life is what I am raising money for the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children through. Uh, and the Sick Kids Foundation. What it is is an organization that connects gamers all over the world with their local Children's Miracle Network hospitals. Uh, if you donate to my page, please check it out. There are going to be more details on it soon as I decide what I'm doing this year. I will be talking about those on my regular streams as they come up, but there will be all sorts of incentives uh, for donating at certain levels and for me reaching certain funding milestones. Uh, but it all goes to the Toronto Hospital for Sick Children. It's a really great cause. It's tax deductible, all that good stuff. Uh, it culminates in a 24-hour gaming marathon every year. Uh, it'll be uh, the weekend of November 4th this year. I'll be starting on the Friday evening, which is the 3rd. And I will be gaming for 24 hours. I'll be streaming the entire thing. If you check out my fundraising page, or if you look in my Twitch details in my uh, YouTube link there, you can actually see my marathons for as long as I've been actually recording them. So there's a few years worth there. You can see this November's uh, all 24 hours are online. You can watch it. You can see how tired I get. Uh, but also how much fun I have and how much fun it is for everyone that comes out. So as I said, uh, I'll be streaming old and retro stuff throughout the year. And it's all for a good cause. I have a lot of fun doing it. Thank you, everyone, who came out tonight. Uh, this has been a great way to start the year. I will be back next Sunday. So I hope everyone enjoys the rest of their evening. And I will see you then. See you, folks.